welcome back to my channel. So we are here at Lowe's today. We are on the hunt for some citrus trees. So let's just dive right in. <laughs> I love Lowe's. It doesn't look like there's a lot of people in the parking lot, so it doesn't look too busy. But what we first need to do, is we need to go grab a cart. I really do love shopping here. The prices are pretty good. And you know, they do have a lot of plants. are really pretty. These are $24.98 and we have some petunias. So $4.98. I think these are new this year. I'm not sure. Petunia Night Sky. Some geraniums. $4.98. And if you have noticed the prices on the plants are a little bit increased I think from everything else since uh, you know the pandemic. Which, you know, is understandable. Right here. Calabratio. It's a pretty dark blue. These almost reminded me of like mini petunias. What you want to do is when you look for a plant, this has a lot of blooms. So this will be a great candidate. That's what I always do, just a little tip. And then we have our vegetable and herb plants. I am planting a lot of seeds this year. These are three for 10, which is a great deal. And the bonnie plants are always, always a good brand. There's some purple kale. We have, ooh, sunrise sauce tomatoes. Those look new. If you're a foodie, that's like perfect. <laughs> okay. Right here, sweet stevia. I'm not really a fan of stevia as a sweetener. Oh, you guys, there's pineapple mint. There's basil. Oh, that's a huge. This is huge. And this is 1098. Right over here we have our peppers. 398. chili peppers, the hot bananas, and I'm telling you, the pepper plants, they grow like little weeds. So if you get just one, actually that would be, that would be pretty good. It'll last you throughout the season. Oregano, Greek oregano, spearmint. If you guys do plant spearmint, please plant it in a container because it will take over your entire yard. Basil, cilantro, lavender. You know, I don't have a lot of luck growing lavender, so we're just gonna keep trying. <laughs> we have some rosemary. Oh, we have some gourmet salad mixes. These are fortune They're a little expensive. I'm telling you, if you just throw some seeds in the ground, which is right now because they do love the cool season, you will have no problem. So just go buy a pack of seeds. More tomato plants and the strawberry plants. So I actually did order some from Brex, which is an online company, and they're guaranteed. These are some really decent plants here. did buy a big tomato plant and I already have tomatoes growing these are a little expensive they are $17.98 but if you want tomatoes because you can see right here if you want tomatoes soon oh these are $19.98 these are the little cherries I mean I would just go ahead and pick it up because they're well established so I'm actually growing my tomatoes from seeds. I have some that are probably about this 
high. And then I do have one of these. And then again, here's your leaf tomatoes, sweet potatoes. We have some cabbage. We have some curly kale. And right over, what do we have over here? Oh, we have the broccolis. More bell peppers. Over here we have some ferns. I have a green thumb, but I'm telling you what, I kill ferns. So, I don't know, I'm just going to keep on trying. These are 30 bucks, so that's, that's a little pricey. So I think we're going to go over here. See, these are pink um, mandevilla, <clears throat> if I did pronounce that correctly, but they are beautiful. Over here, what are these? Oh, these are the smaller ones, and these are only $5, and they do grow pretty quickly, so if you do buy these, it'll be worth every single penny, because they will, they will grow pretty good. Right down here, we have the same. They're a little bit, so we have kind of like small, we have medium, and then we have large. So, over here, hi, how are you? Then we have one of these. Oh, yeah, these are just in the baskets, so you have a lot of varieties. To choose from. Hi, this is Katarina. Hi, Hi Katrina. Katrina. Hi, so nice, nice to Lisa. meet you. Okay, so we're heading in. We're gonna go straight over to the plants inside. I'm actually looking for the citrus plants. You guys, okay, so if you do buy an umbrella, I would highly recommend save up and buy a good one. Like actually look over here. Well, right here I mean these are these are pricey I'm not gonna lie and this does I think this one tilts mine does tilt because if you go out and you buy an umbrella let's just say like $300 it's only gonna last you a couple of seasons so really I would just if you have to go without an umbrella and save up and get a big one and always take it down at the end of the day because you don't want the wind to blow it over even though it would really be hard to, for the wind to blow this over but I mean yeah you know what you get what you pay for there's some pillows over here I just love the displays that they have you know I just like want to come over here and sit down and I'm still wearing my mask, even though I am, I have been fully vaccinated for months. Ooh, maybe that's on the wrong way. And I'm gonna wear it for quite a long time. Or no, maybe I did it wrong. I don't know, I just woke up. <laughs> so yeah. So cute. It's really nice that everything is kind of like opening back, I don't know what's going on with my hair, that everything is opening back up, so I'm so excited to be here. So uh, let's continue our shopping journey. This is really cute. The wood column, it's $189. I think it does run by gas. Yeah, that's where you hook it up right here. So that is really cute in the backyard. These are bromeliads, which I love. One of my first plants that I've ever purchased. The peace lily, these grow like little weeds. We have some orchids. I think these are like the clearance items over here. I'm not sure. I don't see any prices though. Weather 
Mortuarium. That's interesting. And this is an air power car. Micro Green Scroll Kit. $8.98. And we here have some heavy plants. I do have one of these. It's a sago palm. It grows very, very slow. It likes a lot of light. It is a little pricey though. So it's terracotta. And then we do have some succulents. I do like these. And then we have. I don't know how much these are. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are $3.98. I'm gonna go pick one up because mine didn't make it. They don't have any water though. See? I want to pick up this one. I think this is the best one. What do you guys think? See, no water. Oh my gosh. We're going to give you some water when I get home, okay? Oh, well, they are right there. These are so cute. These are $16.98. These are little terrariums, air plants. These are $14.98. That is actually a nice specimen. And these down here, these are $8.98. dollars down here. They're a little pricey, but I mean, they are really cute though. So uh, let's continue to go outside. here. And these are $3.48 for a little four pack. And here's some perennials. We have some fountain grass. And here, here's a variegated Lyra rope. August moon lily. I think there's some more grasses. Again, they grow like little weeds. Over here, we have some petunias. We have some spikes, actually. These are a pretty good specimen. I think these are potato. Yes, sweet potato vines. I can tell those anywhere. And right here, we have some blue dart grasses. And there's a little birdies up there. <laughs> we have some daisies. Oh, we have some carnations. Those are pretty. This is seven forty-eight. We have here we have salvia, which grows really well. Seven forty-eight. We have little containers. It's a one point five gallon tub, and these are fourteen ninety-eight. They have many, many varieties. And this one actually has fern. I actually did buy some 
carnation seeds, so we're going to grow those. I'm going to go ahead and plant them up. Right here. That's a huge garden. And I mean, you know, if you don't have time to plant, just go pick one of these up. Look how pretty that is. Here, these are beautiful. Thank you. Right here we have the lilies. So this is $26.98. I have never saw a lavender tree. How cute is that? So cute. Over here we have the rose plants. These are 49 and change. And we have a yellow shrub rose. I do actually really like this color rose, uh, color yellow. We have our climbing plants. We have more lilies. I have so many lilies in my yard. Fabulous. We come up every year. We have some pink cow lilies. So pretty. where the citrus trees were. They don't have a lot left, so I'm actually going to go. They said they're here to the left. Right up here, guys. <gasps> Thank Welcome you. Back. Thank you, Trisha. You're welcome. All right. These are $24.98. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. I am. <laughs> you guys, we have an olive tree. Okay, so olive, we have lemon, lime, and another lemon tree. Oh my gosh, okay. So which one should I get? I think I'm going to go ahead and get the lemon tree, because that's actually what I came for. So excited! You're coming home with me. What I'm gonna try to do, I think we're gonna try to grow a lime tree and an olive tree. I'm gonna have to further research that. But uh, you know, it's worth a try. I mean, I'm really tempted, but I really do kind of like to propagate my own plants. You save a lot of money, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited! <sighs> I did have a lemon tree a few years back and I did get lemons and it's just so exciting to actually grow your own lemon and then of course you bring it in during the winter when it starts getting cold outside like in the fall <gasps> okay so we're gonna go back outside and we're gonna go on the side and we're gonna look at some of the ground covers Them here. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna park that right there. These hens and chicks, they will come back year after year. So what I don't see, um, basically they have these little succulents. Oh, this is a tray. Well, it would come an entire tray and it was about anywhere between 40 and $50. You don't have to water them. I do have that in my front yard. And uh, hit that notification bell so you guys can see that in my future videos and I will show you. It is growing like a little weed. And you can cut them apart. So perhaps when we go to another Lowe's, we can see that. something It's something like this. Okay. These are actually $24.98. These are so cute. <gasps> Look at this. So cute. Now this was hiding down in the corner here. Would you guys look at this? This is $34.98. This is a succulent basket. Look how pretty that is. It's actually a very good price. And of course, make sure you get your seeds now. They have a ton. Barry Morris has been around since 1856 and they are good quality seeds. I still have actually planted some seeds from last year. Just make sure they're not too old. Also, you guys, these dwarf teddy bears. Oh, I grow these every single year. These are very hard to find, so I would go ahead and pick these up. They are just adorable. They only grow to, let's see. They only grow to three feet. They are so adorable if you have a small space or you can put them in a container. <gasps> Ooh, okay, so I'm definitely gonna have to pick up some cat grass for the Barbie and especially Coco because she is obsessed with the cat grass. Oh, and don't confuse the cat grass with the grass that is outside. It might contain pesticides, which will be harmful to your little kitties. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this for now. And I guess I'm going to go ahead and order online. And then I can get a bigger package. But for right now, this will work. I think I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really do appreciate it. And please put your name below. I would love to know who I am shopping with. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment, please. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I will see you guys with my next video. And until next time, my beauties. Stay gorgeous. Mwah. Next up.